school year. Let's go Wolves. Indiana in the morning presented by First Commonwealth Bank on WCCS. And it is time for an interview segment presented by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm, best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And we are joined today right now by Clinton Smith, who is the chair of the United Way of Indiana County's 2024 fundraiser. Clinton, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing really good. How are you? Doing fine. I wanted to give you the honor because you wanted to uh, introduce your vice chair for the campaign this morning. So I actually want to, I do want to give you a little bit of backstory here. Back in 2019, Aaron Ludwig talked me into joining the United Way board. I joined the board. And at that time, Joe Pittman was still looking for his vice chair. And I could tell whenever people would bring it up, everyone would look around the room, and then all the eyes would land on me. So I think Aaron knew <laughs> that what he was getting me into. So That's 100% the plan. Yeah. And at that time, Aaron was the president of the United Way. Uh, he's been off the board for a couple years, but I'm excited. He just came back on, and he is going to be leading the campaign next year in 2025. So it seems the new arrival always seems to get the vice chair job, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, either, but there's no there's no revenge or ill will I would think on this on this uh, uh, Mr. Ludwig. Oh no no we just um, we have a good time. Yeah. All right. So talk <clears throat> about what you're going to bring to the table, and we know uh, the community obviously knows you from the law firm of Ludwig Colley and Tom. So uh, maybe you could talk about what you want to uh, what you want to accomplish as the vice chair for the campaign. Well, as Clint um, had mentioned, you know, I was vice president for some time. I was president for some time. And being on the board was never really, you know, you you see it every month of what it's doing, but mm-hmm. it wasn't as involved. And then Clint was looking for a vice chair, someone to take over when he's done, and somehow convinced me to jump right in. And I'm excited to, you know, watch how he does it this year and hopefully continue the success into the next year. You 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 seem pretty excited for the role. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It, it always There's takes a little, a little bit of talking there. into it. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of talking it. into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I've been some white claws. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> but you know what? It's it's great that you're on board, and it's great that you're back with the United Way of Indiana County. So hopefully, you learn from him, and then you run the next year's campaign. Oh yeah, and it's a great organization. It touches all aspects of the community that I don't even think many people realize, like where some of the funding goes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's just a great organization. I mean, we talk about the community partners that the United Way has that this money goes to. It's a wide variety of organizations and a wide and a wide variety of causes. Uh, so. It's not the fact that it's going to one specific cause. It's going to the greater good of the community. We have, we've also opened it up. You know, we, we had the partner agencies was really the old format that we're trying to get away from a little bit more because okay. there's a lot of places that still are really great causes that just don't fit inside of that partner agency mold. So we've been going more towards a community impact program. So you've been able to see that we'll support stuff in the community as it happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like we were able to support the Chevy Chase Community Center last year whenever they had their issues. Uh, Yeah. And, you know, we're trying to be a little bit more reactive, although it's a very proactive organization trying to fix the problems before they come bigger problems. And that's why they uh, work a lot with children and children's programs as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. Speaking of uh, fun for everyone, we'll say, uh, the kickoff event is coming up this week, right? Yeah, so it's exciting. It's this Friday. Uh, we're going to be kind of diagonally right across the street from Renda. We're going to be closing down North 8th Street. It's going to run from 3 to 10 o'clock, which is a lot different from all of our kickoffs in the past. Yeah, mostly the kickoffs in the past have been like evening after hours events. Yeah. So this sounds like you're trying to get the whole family to come down. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to have, we have over 20 games. We have a uh, blow-up slide for children. There's also going to be face painting. There's going to be entertainers. There's going to be a band that's going to play from 7 o'clock on. Mm -hmm. The normal program that we have, I believe, is going to start around 5... 5.30, 5, 5 30, 6 o'clock, I believe, is whenever we're going to start announcing how everything will work. But the carnival games and all of the fun is going to be open throughout the day from 3 till 10 o'clock. Okay. Aaron, talk about this because uh, Clint mentioned it. It is a lot of activities. I mean, the games, the the uh, entertainment, uh, for the, the, the carnival acts, I will say, and then you have the live music. This has been a lot to coordinate. Um, yeah, thankfully, Clinton has been amazing at coordinating it. Um, I believe this is the first time, you know, we've also utilized our connections with downtown Indiana. 
Yep. I think they've been um, really helpful in strategizing how to do it. I believe they helped in um, coordinating closing down the streets. Um, Thanks, yeah. Sam Kenley. I was yeah. say, yeah. Sam Kenley has been very helpful in all of this. And I'm excited. I think this is the first time a kickoff is really turned into this all-day carnival. Uh, who knows? It could be the start of a trend. Could be. And one thing I think is very nice, it's going to tie into a later fundraiser. Uh, Flower and Balloon Gallery is going to be there. They're yes. going to make some small balloon sculptures, we'll say. Yeah. De- Denise Chrisos from the Flower and Balloon Gallery is going to be there twisting balloons for children as well. Uh, so she'll have a setup. Uh there's going to be a lot of stuff for kids. I mean, there's going to be food trucks. It's a little bit of a different format than before. We're not feeding everyone. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, food is going to be on your own dime. It's, I believe, $25 to get in with yeah. a wristband that will give you access to alcohol while you're there, which will have Romeo's and Levity both serving alcohol while we're there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's also a discount this year. If you're over 65, a veteran, or an IUP student, uh, you get in for less price that's well. right it's going to be ten dollars and then kids under 12 can come for free that's really cool there yeah. that's a, and again a great way to get the whole family involved there and i understand that there was an upgrade as well if you wanted to get the wristband and get a couple of drinks under the belt if yeah. you will make sure you don't make sure you don't have to worry about that it comes with two and then the rest is for you to purchase on your own okay excellent yeah. so let's go through the schedule of this so three o'clock you said is when this thing kicks off Yep. And so um, there's kickoff th- kicks off at three. OK. <laughs> yeah. uh, so after that, um, when are we going to have the goal reveal? Because that's always the big part of the uh, of the uh, starting event for the United Way. So the carnival will start. It will open up at three o'clock at six o'clock is whenever we're going to actually start the program and talk about what's going on. But we're not going to stop the baskets then. Uh, the goal reveal will be at 7 o'clock, and the band will start then, and then the raffle closes at 7.30, mm-hmm. and 8 o'clock is when we'll actually announce the ra- raffle winners. But to answer your question, goal reveal, 7 o'clock. So goal reveal at 7. Yeah. And as you mentioned, the basket raffles, which has always been a part of the of the fundraising opportunities, those are live right now online? They actually ended yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's okay. Uh, if you didn't get the chance, you can still purchase tickets and uh, buy tickets online at the event. Okay, and you can also get the tickets at uwindianacounty.org slash carnival. That's for more information? Yeah, there's more information there about the baskets, but I believe that the basket <coughs> online raffle did close yesterday. Okay. All right. Uh, we actually still- have someone come in, and if you buy a ticket online, we fill out the tickets and handwrite them. Oh, okay. That way we can pick them at the event. So we have to close it a little bit before the event actually happens. All right. But people will still have a chance to buy tickets at the event itself? Absolutely. You Excellent. can buy tickets to play games. You can buy tickets for baskets as All well. Right. All right. So the theme for this year, uh, usually it's announced day of, but this time you've decided to uh, uh, to want to release it right now. Other than the number, I'm, I'm going to release the number yeah. on Friday. But the, that's understandable. We'll keep that. We'll keep that under the hat. My theme is reaching greater heights mm-hmm. this year. So uh, this is my second time doing the campaign, and I have not been shy about saying that I want to raise more than ever in the history of the United Way before. Huh. And I have to beat Paula Hensel, uh, and she was in the late 800s somewhere. So <laughs> that's my goal. Wow, that is that's lofty. That is lofty. Have you ever seen any, anything like that? In, He's in a competitive time? guy. We appreciate it, and um, I'm hopeful that again, I don't have to beat his number next year. <laughs> <laughs> let's thank some. Let's thank some community partners for this. I mean, there, there's a lot of people who are taking part in not just the event on Friday, but in the overall campaign. Absolutely. So so far we have because our sponsorships are still open. So if you're interested in sponsoring the United Way, let us know as soon as possible. But our community leaders that give ten thousand dollars or more is Kreps United Public. Publication, Colonial Motor Mart, uh, Colonial Toyota, Mark Arbuckle Nissan, GCES, those handsome guys over there. Yeah, I was about to say, that seems familiar. <laughs> right. Uh, the Rishkini Group and S&T Bank. Mm-hmm. And a lot of, uh, as you said, there's a lot more sponsorship opportunities available as well. You just contact them, they'll take care of it. We mentioned, I mentioned one of the, I said that the one of the things that the carnival was going to tie into one of the events that's coming up later on, and I'm looking forward to it. We'll get that at in a second, though. Yep. Because the golf outing's coming up. Yeah, so next month, uh, September 9th, 
is our golf outing. I'm trying to yeah, remember Monday, that off. The, September 9th. Yeah, so it's a Monday. Mm-hmm. It's our first ever golf outing. It's at the Indiana Country Club. We have tons of space available for foursome still. So okay. we're only about halfway full. Granted, it is a month away, and a lot of reservations like to come in at the very end in Indiana. But if you're going to play and if you can play, there's a foursome. There's a foursome available for you. All right, excellent. So there is room, and the this will start around 9 o'clock with breakfast. And the shotgun start at 10 and $150 a player, right? Yep, $150 okay. per player. There is going to be a lunch and a barbecue buffet following the event as well. All right, so you burn up the calories from breakfast on the course and you work up an appetite then. Yeah. Aaron, uh, golf outings, uh, they've been they have been around here for a long time. I just wonder why the United Way is, just hasn't tried its own. I mean, and I, I think don't it's know, been in the past. Yeah, and I don't know historically if they've ever done them. Um I, it was a great idea that, again, Clint came up with. He's very motivated to try to beat his prior goal, and we're excited to do it. All right, really quickly, coming up November 21st is the big balloon build, right? Yep, so the 21st through the 24th, this is going to be an event that will never happen within 70 miles of Indiana. Thanks to Denise Crisos from the Flower and Balloon Gallery for bringing the big balloon build here. We're going to turn the S&T Arena into an immersive balloon world with balloon art all fashioned after Jimmy Stewart, It's a Wonderful Life, and and basically themed for Indiana. Yeah, that and Fred Rogers, I was told as well yep. from the, from when I talked with the person who really does the overall design for the balloon building. Yeah, the we're general. doing it in such a way to not infringe on copyrights. Yeah. So uh, we use those terms loosely. Yeah, loosely. So we'll just yeah. say neighborhood. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Gentlemen, and first off, Aaron, congratulations on being named the Thank vice you, chair Josh. once again. Clinton, you've got a lot to get through and a lot, and you got a lot of support behind you. I know I, that. I do. I still have one more thing to get through. I want Go to thank our kickoff sponsors as well, Marion Center Bank, Downtown Indiana, and the 700 Shop. We also have our $7,500 level sponsors, Robindale, Rosebud Mining, the Indiana Gazette, and Render Broadcasting. Thank you guys so much. Hey, no problem. We're right at the mark, gentlemen, but thanks very much for coming in. It's going to be a busy couple of months here for the United Way. Thanks, Josh. Have a good day. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Joining us on Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, our interview presented by Marcus and Mack, a voted best personal injury law firm, best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. This August, people are coming from everywhere. They're coming from Pittsburgh, Johnstown, and beyond. They're coming for TriStar Ford Catanning's One Last Time Sale. Save up to $10,000 off any F-150. Get 0% financing for 36 months. We're selling more than Fords. by the shelves, desks, and doors. It's the last month you can get these deals at TriStar Ford Catanning. Before we move forever. Or shop TriStarFordCatanning.com. All rebates apply not all buyers will qualify. See dealer for complete details and qualifications. Offer expires 831-24. Are you looking to improve the water in your home? When you think of better water, think H2O Restoration. Discover how H2O can give you and your family clean, quality water throughout your home. For your free water analysis and consultation, and to see how H2O can help you improve your water, give them a call at 724-354-3222. Experience the difference that clean water can do for you and your family with H2O Restoration. 724-354-3222. When your yard feels like this, instead of this... You need Innovations of Home in Marion Center. You know, the place that has everything. Innovations of Home carries weed eaters, chainsaws, lawnmowers, gardening tools, landscaping supplies, and whatever else you need to turn that backyard jungle into a private paradise. Innovations of Home can get all your outdoor spring cleaning done with ease, and you can either stop by their location on Route 119 Marion Center or at inhomepa.com. Innovations of Home. You know, the place that has everything. Ever notice how those imitation spreads compare themselves to real butter? They claim it tastes just like real butter, but the list of ingredients takes up the whole side of the packaging. Why not choose the real thing with the real taste? Choose real butter, the unanimous choice of some of the best kitchens in the world. Make it the choice for your kitchen, too. WCCS AM 1160, 101.1 FM, Homer City, Indiana, Blairsville, 9 o'clock. Hinged. I'm Dave Anthony. Fox News has what Vice President Harris's campaign says about former President Trump's interview on X with Elon Musk, calling his new rival to replace President Biden a radical left lunatic. Frankly, I think that she's more incompetent than he is. 
And that's saying something, because he's not too good. Saying Vice President Harris shares the blame for the effects of record illegal immigration. You have a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime. I call it Biden well, migrant yeah. crime. Maybe I'll call it Kamala <laughs> migrant crime. The interview went on for two hours. The Republican nominee also touched on some other policy ideas, such as closing the Department of Education and moving education policy back to the states. A spokesperson for the Harris campaign responding to the interview by saying, quote, Trump's entire campaign is in service of people like Elon Musk and himself, self-obsessed rich guys who will sell out the middle class and who cannot run a live stream in the year 2024. That's Fox's Ryan Schmelz referencing glitches at the start that delayed the Trump interview for about 40 minutes. Ex-owner Elon Musk blamed it on a cyber attack, saying his opposition to even hearing what the former president has to say. Days after the Trump campaign was infiltrated, the FBI tells Fox Fox News, it's investigating whether Iran hacked both major parties' presidential campaigns. Trump's team says private documents were stolen and sent to journalists. The uh, Harris campaign says so far they are unaware of any successful security breaches. And then the uh, Iranians up at the U.N. were asked about all of this, and they denied any involvement. Fox's Mark Meredith at the White House. We just got an inflation update showing wholesale prices rose a tenth of a percent last month from June, less than expected. And as for the annual rate of increase... We came in at 2.2 percent year over year. Expectation was 2.3, and, and last month it was 2.6. So Fox Business Network, Cheryl Cassoni says an annual inflation rate decline like that could help the Federal Reserve decide to finally cut interest rates next month. We'll get July's consumer price report tomorrow. America's listening to Fox News. The best thing to like, they- 57 in Indiana. Good morning. I'm Josh Whittison on WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. It is 9.02 on this 13th day of August, 2024. A status conference is scheduled today for Joshua Brink. He faces charges connected with a fatal crash in August of 2021 in West Mahoning Township. The 35-year-old Salzburg man is charged with homicide by vehicle while DUI, accidents involving death or injury, multiple counts of DUI and other crimes connected with the death uh, with a fatal crash along Barnard Road on August 27th. He allegedly veered off the road, then overcorrected and went to the other side where he hit a lawn tractor driven by 52-year-old Douglas D'Alessio. D'Alessio died later that night at Allegheny General Hospital. Brink was found after.